In today's video, just a, uh, a little circuit fun with an auto-ranging analog voltmeter. You notice I turn the voltage up on my power supply here. We see the uh, meter moving up here. When I reach full scale, the meter resets scale. I get an indicator light down here and I can continue to increase the voltage up to yet another full scale. Now this uh, auto-ranging voltmeter idea as a result of a uh, email conversation I had with a fellow ham and uh, subscriber to the YouTube channel who's building a variable power supply and uh, likes to use an analog meter on the power supply uh, but also wants to have uh, the ability to set the, uh, the voltage reasonably accurately in the low voltage like 3 to 5 volt range but also still have good accuracy in the you know, 20 to 25 volt range. So I suggested you know maybe a uh, an analog meter that would automatically change scales. So this is the circuit I came up with. It's actually uh, pretty simple. We'll take a look at the schematic and walk through it and show you how it operates. This circuit uses uh, one of my favorite analog integrated circuits. It's been around for 30 years or more. Uh, made originally by a national semiconductor called an LM10. Of course now it's a TI. It's been around for a really long time. I think it's just a great little part. Um, you can see it's a, an operational amplifier and a voltage reference. Uh, so essentially inside the unit or inside the integrated circuit is this. We've got a uh, you know, pretty decent little low voltage uh, op amp with close to rail to rail outputs on the output uh, and a built in 200 millivolt reference and a reference amp. So by connecting some feedback around here we can adjust that reference to be whatever we want or we simply can tie the output to the input and we have a buffered 200 millivolt reference. Some of the real nice things about this is uh, this uh, circuit can operate with supply voltages as low as 1.1 volts okay, or, or even as high as 40 volts and uh, it can be operated floating. Uh, it's just a really flexible neat little device you know a little 4 or 8 pin package and uh, so use this here to come up with uh, this circuit and uh, what really makes it nice is because it can operate over such a wide uh, power supply range this whole circuit with the meter and everything is simply powered up off of the variable output of the DC power supply. Okay so here's uh, the schematic for the automatic dual range analog voltmeter. And again we had really two des desires here. One is that we wanted to auto switch between about a 5 volt range and a 25 volt range and we want the whole circuit to be powered directly off of the output of the variable power supply that this is going to be used with. So here's the circuit we came up with. The LM10 is shown here. Uh, those are the two parts of it. This is the reference amplifier, or 200 millivolt reference. is just unity gain buffered to this point. So essentially I just have a 200 millivolt reference sitting here. Uh, this voltage divider is really what we're sensing the output of the power supply with. Uh, and uh, the 240K and 9.1K resistor are going to give me a voltage divider that is going to cause this voltage to reach about the 200 millivolts with about uh, five and a half volts here. So five and a half volts and above and we're going to be above that reference and below about five volts will be below that reference. We're using the op amp inside the LM10 really just as a comparator uh, and uh, so to detect when we're above or below this threshold to basically turn the switching part of the circuit on or off. Now this resistor here looks like you know a feedback resistor around an op amp but that's really not how it's used. This is a positive feedback resistor. You notice it's going to the non-inverting input. And what its job to do is it's a relatively large value. What it's going to do is slightly change the voltage that appears here when the output changes state. And the purpose for that is let's say we needed to adjust the supply voltage so that it was right at the voltage where we're going to change ranges. We wouldn't want those range changes to be going back and forth while we're sitting at that voltage. So what this does is forms or creates a little bit of hysteresis. And what that means is that uh, when this output changes state we're going to slightly modify the voltage that's here. So the way that it's going to work is as the voltage is coming up and we cross about five and a half volts this output now goes high, but when it goes high, in order for it to go back low again, this voltage is going to have to be brought down below about 5 volts instead of 5.5. 
So it changes that switching threshold and it keeps us from chattering the output when we're sitting right at the switching threshold. And again, the beauty of this is that uh, since this LM10 can uh, operate over such a wide supply range, um, we can just uh, power this whole circuit up. Okay, there's our power supply for the LM10 right from that same you know, output from the power supply. Now, of course, when we're down below 1.1 volts, the op amp is, isn't working, but that's also the situation where everything is going to be switched off anyway, so it, it works just fine. So as we're turning the power supply up, the circuit will eventually power up, and when it does, it's going to be in the correct state until we go above 5.5 you know, five volts, and then it switches. So the rest of the circuit here is uh, going to take care of the switching, and it's actually a pretty simple thing. So when the output goes high, we're going to uh, basically turn on, eventually turn on this uh, Zener diode here. And that's going to basically ensure that even as the voltage gets brought up to 10 or 20 or 25 volts, we're still going to limit the voltage here to 5.1. So it's really just a, a, a Zener shunt regulator. In parallel with that is a 1K resistor and a um, some fairly high, high efficiency LED. I've got a blue LED in there. And of course, you may have to play with these values depending on what LED you've got in here. But these work fine for me here. Um, so as this thing switches, or the LED comes on, the LED when it comes on indicates that we've switched to the high range on the meter. So if you had this built into a power supply, you knew which range of the meter or which scale on the meter to read. So when we're operating in the low range, essentially all of this is out of the circuit. Uh, our 2N7000 FET or MOSFET is uh, turned off so that looks like a high impedance so this is all essentially out of the circuit and our meter simply consists of the current limiting resistor and the meter movement. Uh, now of course you would have to select this value of resistor appropriate for the particular meter movement you have. In my case this 100 microamp full scale meter I have approximately 47k gives me what I want for the low range. It's not exactly right but in your case if you're going to build this and calibrate it you'd probably split this resistor up into two re a fixed resistor and a trim pod to calibrate that meter to a specific voltage and similarly you do the same thing for the 1k with the high range. Now when you go above the five and a half volt threshold we switch into the high range this FET turns on and essentially it puts this 1k resistor in parallel with the meter and the effect of that you know, voltage divider is to knock the, you know, the amount of current down that's going through the meter. Everything is still linear though, so by selecting that resistor appropriately we can you know, set the high range to whatever we want it to be full scale. For my demonstration purposes here I just have 47k and 1k and, that, and this gives me an approximate 5 volt range on the low range and about a 25 volt range on the high range. Okay, I'll take a quick look at the circuit in action again. The Fluke 87 is reading the output of my variable power supply that's powering up the circuit here on the breadboard. The indicator LED I've got in black foam here so it's easy to see and there's the analog meter movement. And again the scales are approximate on the, the meter because I didn't select those resistors for anything in particular. just wanted to, to demonstrate the operation of the circuit. So you can see I'm up around you know, 4 volts here. I get up near 5 volts at full scale. Uh, so that would indicate our low range. I go about to 5.3 to 5.4 volts or so. We'll switch ranges. And uh, so I'm at 5.44 volts. You can see my LED came on here. The meter is now switched to its high range. And now I can keep cranking this up. And I can see about mid scale is about 12. And then full scale is about 24 volts. And of course if we play with those resistor values we can calibrate this meter maybe for exactly 5 volts full scale and 25 volts full scale or whatever would suit the particular application. So this kind of a circuit could be really useful not only for you know this type of a metering application but any circuit that might require you know a different uh, configuration or something like that with a variable battery voltage or something like that. You can use a similar technique. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, enjoyed this simple little circuit, and maybe uh, got to think of your own applications for that neat little LM10 integrated circuit. Thanks again for watching.